Okay, so first of all, I have three text files here. And in each of the files, the first column is the same, but the second column is different. And I want to combine these text files together side by side using VBA in Excel. So I am going to open up Excel. And then first of all, we need to make sure that the Excel spreadsheet is saved as an Excel macro enabled workbook. And then we will use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11 in order to open up the Visual Basic Editor. Then we will go to Insert and insert a module. And we will call this macro Side Merge and open and close brackets and enter. Then we'll define the first variable which we'll call file names and we'll do open and close brackets in order to turn this into an array so that it can store multiple values and we will do as variant then we will say file names open and close brackets is equal to application dot get open file name open and close brackets then we'll save this and then run it. And this opens up a window where we can find our text files. However, at the moment, we can't select multiple text files at once. In order to select multiple files, we need to type multi select colon equals true. Then we'll run this again, and now we can select multiple files. Now we will define another variable called file as workbook, as we are going to open all of our text files into Excel workbooks. And we are going to set file equal to application.workbooks open and then open brackets and file names and for the time being we are just going to open file number one then we'll run this and it opens the first file here the next step is to then copy this data into our spreadsheet so i'll close this and go back to the Visual Basic Editor. And then here we need to do file.sheets. And it will be sheet one, as there's only one sheet anyway. And then range. And the range will be A1 to B20. And we will do dot copy. Then we need to tell it where we want to paste this data. So we'll define another variable called results and this will also be as workbook and then we will set results to be equal to the active workbook. And this line of code needs to come before this line of code here because once we open this workbook that then becomes the active workbook. So now we will copy this data into the results spreadsheet and it will go into the active sheet and we'll type cells 1 comma 1. And in here this number is the row number and this is the column number. So we are copying this data into the results spreadsheet starting in cell A1. Then we'll run this. And now in addition to having the data in the text file here, we also have the data copied into our spreadsheet here. Now there's some changes that we want to make to this. So I will delete this and close the text file. First of all, we want the file to close after we've copied the data from it. So I will do file.close. 
Then also when the macro runs, the screen kind of flickers. That's because the file is being opened. And in order to stop this from happening, I will do application dot screen updating equals false. Then we need to copy this and paste it down here and change it to true. So that while the macro is running, we won't be able to see all of the files being opened and closed. And then here at the moment, I'm copying everything down to row 20, but the files might not always necessarily have 20 rows. So I will define another variable up here called last row as integer. And an integer is just a whole number. And then here I will say last row is equal to file dot sheets and it will be the first sheet again cells then rows dot count comma one close brackets dot end open brackets xl up close brackets dot row and this will just find out whatever the last row in the file is. Then I will delete the 20 here and join this to whatever the last row is. Now we'll run this again just to make sure everything is still working. And we end up with the data from the first file copied into here again. Now at the moment, the macro is just copying the data from the first file, but we want to copy the data from all of the files. So in order to do that, we will add in a for loop. So we will define another variable called i as integer. And then down here, we will say for i is equal to one, two, three. And then here we will say next i. So it will loop through these lines of code here three times, once for each file. Then we need to change the number one here to be i, so it will change each time it goes through the for loop. And we also need to change the column number here, so that will also change. And for the time being, I'm going to change it to i times by 2 minus 1. Then we will run this. And now we have copied the data from all three of the files. So this is the first file here, and this is the second one, and this is the third one. However, we might not always necessarily have three files. We could have any number of files, so we will need to count how many files there are. And in order to do that, we will do application.count a open brackets file names and close brackets. So the file names variable here is just a list of all of the files that we have and we are just counting how many they are. And then it will loop through the for loop the correct number of times. Then the next step is to get rid of these extra date columns here. So in order to do that, we are going to need an if test. So if i is equal to one, then, because for the first file, we want to copy both of the columns, but for every other file, we want to copy just the second column. Now, we are always going to want to open the file and count how many rows there are, so I will move these above the if test. And then we are also always going to want to close the file afterwards, so I will put end if before this. It will be this line of code here that will be the one that varies. So for the first file, we want to copy both of the columns and we will change the column number here to one. So it will just be pasted into the first column. Then I will copy this 
and type out else and then paste this line of code again. So if i is not equal to 1, i.e. it is not the first file, we want to do something slightly different. Instead of copying both columns, we want to copy just the second column. So I will change a here to b. And then also, instead of pasting it into the first column, we need the column number to change each time. So I'm going to make this i plus 1. And that is because the first file will take up two columns. So that means the results from the second file need to be pasted into the third column. And then the results from the third file will need to be pasted into the fourth column. Now we've got everything set up. I will go to the View tab and Macros. And then this is the side merge macro here that we just made, and we will run this. And now we have the data from all of the text files combined together here side by side in Excel. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use VBA to combine text files side by side in Excel, and that is everything.